We have a bunch of Aggies that are in the house. North Carolina A&T, the new head football coach of A&T, Vincent the Undertaker, as he was known back in the day. Brown joining us here on the countdown to kickoff. Coach Brown, we appreciate the time. Welcome to the program. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I want to I want to start here. Um, what led you to take this position? I think it's a great hire. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll talk more about your history. Um, but the position as the head football coach at at A and T, what led to this? How did this come about, really? Yeah. So um, I was very comfortable in my prior position. It was with a great head coach, great environment, um, and it would take really the right institution with the right resources, the right support systems, the right fan base, um, the right vision for the program for me to leave William and Mary. And when I got a chance to speak with um, A.D. Hilton and Chancellor Martin and the folks at A&T, it was clear that there was alignment to where they wanted to take the football program going into the CAA and what my vision of running a program would be. So it was just, it was ideal. Yeah, and of course, having familiarity with the CAA, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, I believe this is your first head coaching position. Correct. Um, so getting into Greensboro, what were some of the first things that you did? The very first thing we did was to have a meeting with the team to lay the foundation of what we expect our football program to be. And literally, it's about becoming educated men. That was the very first message to our kids. We want to compete for championships on the field. But at the end of the day, there's one certainty. Your football career is going to end. And your education and the opportunities presented at A&T through your education are unlimited, as long as you take advantage of those resources. Yeah, no doubt about that. Um, what did you see on tape? When you, when you looked at the tape of some of the players, or is that something you do initially of kind of evaluate, you know, what you have? has been some, some players that have transferred out of the program, but sort of what did you see when you looked at the tape? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you try to get a feel for what the roster is like and uh, who do you have coming back that can compete uh, in that conference. And I felt like there are a lot of talented kids on our, on our team. We obviously lost some kids to the transfer portal and graduation and those are hard to replace, but there's talented players, there's young players that are um, energized about what we're trying to do. And so I'm very excited about the upcoming season. Your first spring game, um, what was that like? Take us through that. What did you see from your Aggies on the field? It was awesome. We had, uh, first of all, we had a great crowd to show up and support the players. Uh, our kids have really bought into our style of play on both offense and defense. And really the biggest thing is about developing the culture. Culture of accountability, not beating yourself, eliminating the things that cause losing. And so I was very pleased with that because we have the foundation laid to build on going into the season. I'm going to ask you this, right? Because, I mean, three quarterbacks that all come back for you all play last year. If the season were to start today, who would be your starting quarterback? Oh, great question. Uh, one of those three, plus maybe one of the, the freshmen. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, speak to what each brings to the table. I mean, they all bring something different. Either either three of them could be your starter. Either either one. They're all very talented. They all have a very slightly different skill set. And as we craft the offense, we'll build the offense around the talents of our players always. And, and so Zach Yeager, Eli Brickhandler, Austin Hooker, all very talented young men. And there's no rule that says we only have to play one. So we'll, we'll see if someone separates themselves from the other two and go from there. Is that, I mean, I know you've been, you know, sort of a defensive guy uh, yeah. throughout the course of your career. But, I mean, so you're open to having sort of maybe a, a two or maybe more quarterback system. I, I've seen firsthand the challenges that it can create for a defensive coordinator, especially when the players have very different skill sets. And so we just want to make sure we're putting the best players, the most dependable players, in position to do what their God-given talents allow them to do to give us the best chance to win. Your philosophy, speak to them both offensively and defensively. 
So big picture wise, eliminate the things that cause losing. Those are penalties, mental mistakes, um, defensively poor tackling, uh, offensively blown assignments, and think, turning the ball over. So don't beat yourself first and foremost. And then we really want to be a physically rugged, run the football first, take shots, uh, offense, and defensively keep the ball in front of us, not let people get behind us and stop the run. For you, the co speak a little bit to the coaching staff, and you actually um, kept a couple of the coaches from the previous staff. Yeah, yeah. putting together the staff is probably the most critical po component and laying the foundation for what you want to do. And I think we have one of the best staffs in uh, FCS football. We have coaches on our staff that have played and coached in the NFL, that have played and coached in national championship games, that have played and coached and won conference championship games, uh, HBCU, PWI, NFL, and first and foremost, they're great teachers and mentors. And so I feel like we got a great staff that will help us lay the foundation for what we're going to need to be able to do to compete in the conference. A&T has a very passionate fan base. Now, I'm, I'm sure you've already seen that already. Um, but how have you taken to Aggie land and how have the Aggies responded to you to this point? It's been great. I've embraced the passion. Hey, I love the fact that the fans expect to win. I, we expect to win. You know, are you going to win every game? Maybe not, but we expect to win every game that we go out in. And when you have passionate fans, they help build the foundation. Our fans are already giving back to um, Aggie athletics and to football in particular. And so, you know, we're excited about our fan base. We understand the challenges ahead, and we're going to build on what we uh, have in place so far. You know, your co coach Mike, you, you coached under him for, uh, under, well, you were under him for so many years, going back to the Howard days. William and Mary, which I think is a plus when you're talking about having played a, a, CAA, a CAA school coming now uh, with A&T coming into the CAA. What has he meant? Going back to Richmond in Virginia, yeah. you know, uh, you were part of that national championship That's team, right. I think, in 08, That's Richmond. Right. What has he meant to you, uh, you know, as a, as a maybe as a mentor? He, he's been tremendous. He's been like a big brother. He gave me my first collegiate full-time coaching job. He hired me as my as the first coordinator. He's given me opportunity after opportunity and really has shown me that it's okay to be loving. It's okay to be respectful. It's okay to pe treat people with dignity and respect. And you can coach the kids hard, but you don't have to denigrate them, demean them to get the best out of them. And I, you know, I was just on a call with them uh, night before last, and it was just awesome. He's been a tremendous blessing in our lives. How did you get that name, The Undertaker? How, how, where does that come from? Yeah, well, so as most people know, I'm an HBCU grad myself. I went to Mississippi Valley, and back during the time that I was there, you know, my teammates, teammates were Jerry Rice, you know, Jerry World Rice, Willie Satellite Totten, and, uh, you know, they just said when I hit people, I tried to bury them in the <laughs> ground, and so hence the name Undertaker stuck. Yeah, no doubt. In, in your time in the league, you know, what do you remember most about that three-time All-Pro selection at linebacker, played under Bill Parcells, um, and then was an assistant coach with him uh, with the Cowboys, I believe, in 06. I think that was his last Correct. year. Yeah. Um, you know, sort of speak to your time in the league and then being coached by Bill Parcells. Yeah, so, you know, it's a blessing to get to play in the NFL. And I try to share – I don't talk a lot about my NFL career – with our players other than there's a process to getting there and it starts with the very first day you set foot on campus and laying the foundation and building step after step after step after step and you'll look back in four or five years and you're a completely different player than you were when you came in and then you know my experience with coach Parcells hard nose discipline fundamentally sound don't beat yourself, eliminate the things that cause losing, take advantage of the talent that you have, not trying to build the schemes uh, or fit your players into you know, your systems. And so 
you know, Coach Parcells, Al Grow, those have been tremendous mentors for me over the years. Do you talk with Coach Parcells? Have you talked every, with him? Every once in a while. We, we pro primarily communicate via text message. When I got the job here at A&T, I got a message from him saying congratulations. You know, I thanked him for his support and mentorship over the years. And he said, look, you were an easy one because you tried to do things the right way. Last thought. What do you think Thursday, August 31st, first is going to be like for you when you take the field in Birmingham against UAB as a first-time head coach but the head football coach at North Carolina a and I'm just going to live in the moment, make sure that our kids and our team is mentally and physically prepared and go out and compete at a high level and know what the big picture for the 2023 season is all about. Coach Brown, we appreciate the time. Good luck to you and the Aggies this season. Thank you so much.